Welcome to 10 Words of Wisdom. The first prompt, what happened to the 31st of November? Send me a YouTube PM by December 15th, 2015. You guys sent in a lot more responses than I expected. Over 300. Welcome to Twow 1A. Welcome to Twow 1B. It's time for Twow 2A. Let's get right into Twow 2B. It's time for Twow 3A. We're already at Twow 3B. Time for Twow 4A. Twow 4B is just about to start. Twow 5A was uploaded within 9 hours of the submission period ending. Let's see what Twow 5's top response Response was. Here comes 126A. Since we're up to 126B now, we're up to 127 now. I think it's 127B time, so let's get right into it. There will be a day when 12A day arrives. 128B is here. It's 129A. The ninth trial prompt was, so it's 1210A now. We're finally in the double digits. Okay, let's do 1210B. Welcome to 1211A. Let's do 1211B. On to the 12th trial prompt. Welcome to 1212B. Hey guys, let's do 1213A. This is 1213B. Hi, it's time for 1214A. Hi, 12 joisie. Welcome to 1214B. Now it's time for 1214B part 2. On to 1215A. Welcome to 1216A. Hi guys, welcome to 1216B. So this is 1216B part 2. Let's show the fan out really quickly. So welcome to 1217A. Welcome to 1217B, everyone. This is Mr. Tweezer, and welcome to 12 from the Olympic Games. Let me show you what the 1218 prompt was. Since IDFB1 is done, go check it out. We can finally do 1218B. Hello everybody, welcome to episode 19A of 10 Words of Wisdom. Hi, this is 10 Words of Wisdom 19B. Welcome to 1220A. This is 1220B. It's 1220B part 2 finally. It's 2am. Welcome to 1221A. 1221B! 1222A time. Want a 1222B intro? Hello, and welcome to 1223A. So, back to 1223B. Hey everyone, and welcome to 1224A. It's time for 1224B. And now, here we are. After 5 years and over 50 videos, We've arrived at the TWOW finale, which is officially called TWOW 25A. It's crazy to have those words actually roll off my tongue at last. What's that? I'm hearing from my headset that there are a few fan-made TWOW 25A intros that we just gotta check out? This one was made by u slash apart investigator 75 on the r slash TWOW fanart subreddit. <laughs> Next, we have three more TWOW 25A fan intros. They are by u slash icygur9471, u slash Kyren returns, and u slash kirbyfan628, who says they hope I notice them. I do notice you. Sadly, we don't have time to show them all one by one, so I'll play them simultaneously. <laughs> Wow, you guys, those intros were really a spectacle to behold. If you want to see more TWOW fan art, skip to the end of this video, right after the green voting rectangle finishes. Now, I know for most TWOW A part episodes, that green voting rectangle is visible throughout the entire video. I didn't want to do that this time because there's a lot of cool footage in here that other people have animated, and I don't want to cover that up. Also, speaking of the progress bar at the bottom, whoa. This TWOW episode's over 32 minutes long? That's the longest one by over 10 minutes! It also means that if you round your numbers to the nearest hour, this episode is... one hour long. LOL! Before moving on, I want to bring your attention to this musician, Gizmoat, who was previously known as Gizmodude8128, and has been in the TWOW community since 2016. They make awesome music for your TWOW videos, so I figured I'd experiment with playing a few of their pieces in the background of this video now. This piece in particular is called Glint. Also, in case you're sad that my 
my TWOW season is coming to a close, you can find other people's TWOW competitions over at the TWOW Central Discord server that are either still running or even looking for new contestants to sign up. Honestly, for all TWOW related news, discussion content, games, and more, check out the TWOW Central Discord server. It's like a central hub. If you want more details on how to participate in an online TWOW competition, check out this Google Doc made by TR underscore linked in the description. So what are all these modern TWOW competitions made by other people really like? Let's take a listen, three at a time. Hi, my name's Gray, and I'm the host of a story twow called Lab Twow. Lab Twow is a sci-fi themed twow that has fully hand-illustrated prompt comics and original story elements. The first season is over, but I want to run another one someday. You can join the server to read the story so far. Wow, Gray's Lab Twow looks spectacular with all those action-packed illustrations. Also, you saw that second ad correctly. It was literally a tenth of a second. Thirdly, all ads are 15 seconds or shorter, and fourthly, I'm playing them in the order I received them. But now it's time to focus on the gameplay element of Twow. By the way, if you're unfamiliar with how 10 Words of Wisdom works, Works, watch Twow Zero A for an explanation. In short, 10 Words of Wisdom is a game show on YouTube with hundreds of contestants. Each episode, I give the contestants a prompt, which they have to respond to in 10 words or fewer. Then the general public votes on those responses anonymously, from best to worst, and the contestants whose responses score the lowest get eliminated. Rinse and repeat until there's only one winner left. So, of the original 491 contestants, how many are left? Well, there's just two of them, Mr. Twister and Midnight Light. By the way, that glorious animation was made by Dunkelblau in 2016. Since this is the last TWOW episode, we will be hearing Mr. Twister and Midnight Light's final confessionals of the season. Although I'll probably chat with them more after the season's over, so it's not like you guys will never hear from them again. Anyway, Mr. Twister had this to say. This is it, the finale. I would love to win Twow, but I'd also be happy with second place. Good luck to Midnight Light. It was hard to think of responses for this round, but I don't want to let anyone down and I did my best. Thanks to everyone who has shown support to me over the years. Twow has grown to be so much more than just a competition, and I had no idea what I was getting into when I signed up in 2015. I've met so many great people and had so many amazing experiences I don't think I could have had otherwise. Twow is what I'm most known for, and it will probably stay that way for a long time. I wrote my responses while using the official Twow16 phone case, and I have the Twow16 poster as well. I just wanted to point out that I own the same Twow16 t-shirt, which I'm wearing right now, and it's also on my iPhone case, but I also wanted to point out that in Twow6B, which was in February 2016, the Twower contestant, Not Pro, said something very prophetic. Just take a listen. Midnight Light wanted us to describe some past catastrophe of Atlantis, but Not Pro focused on future catastrophes instead. Now what? Not Pro said, there's a zombie outbreak in 2020, how will you survive? Now there was an outbreak, it wasn't of zombies, but it was of COVID-19. So how did Not Pro know that was going to happen four whole years earlier? That's crazy. Anyway, back to the Mr. Tweeter confessional. For my final TWOW book, I want to go back to the one in TWOW 23, which was made by Lauren Teasel. Pause, before we can hear the rest of Mr. Tweeter's lovely confessional, we have to do another ad break for three more mini TWOWs that you just gotta check out. Hey you, the viewer watching this, have you ever wanted a twow with a story and decently good aesthetics in one by ones? Well join the Bacon Story Twow Season 4 Discord server today. We have cool things such as speed twows, forum games, and a bunch of other cool stuff. Hope to see you in the server.
for fun. By the way, nobody is paying me to include these ads. I just feel like if they like my content enough to create spin-offs of their own for free, then at least I can do is give them a bit of the spotlight for free as well. Anyway, back to the Mr. Tweeter confessional. So much has happened since my last confessional four years ago, and it would be too much to list everything here. I went to the BFDI plus II meetup in 2018, and got to meet BFB and Inanima Insanity staff members, including Carrie, that's me, and Top Twower, some nerd. I started speedrunning BFDI A5B and other H-Twins games, enough that I got many former world records in BFDI A5B. I'm so proud of what I did with the game that I would say it's my best achievement, even better than Twow. It would mean a lot to me if you joined the 5B Central Discord and look at the 5B speedrun leaderboards. Yoel Spartan made a cool web game similar to 5B and Undertale, called Object Apocalypse Recovery Quest, and you should try it out too. If you need any voice acting for your show, I would love to help, as I like to do voice acting. One last thing, it would be great if you subscribed to my YouTube channel. It's grown a lot because of Twow. This has been an amazing experience. Let's finish this great season! Wow, Mr. Tweester, I'm glad you feel that way, and yes, let's finish this thing off! By the way, the links to the cool internet places that Meester mentioned will be included in this video's description. Oh, and there's one more thing about Meester Tweester. You know that Twow staircase that Yellow Carry, me, is seen climbing near the end of every B Twow episode? Lately, each stair's design has been based off of the booksona of the Twower who was eliminated directly before the start of that episode, kind of like a homage to them. But Mr. Tweester notified me over Twitter DMs that that means he and Midnight Light won't get any pillar colored after them, since there won't be any episode after they get eliminated or win. Oh, boo hoo, poor you, just kidding. You know what? You two can be the designs of this magical floating orb at the end of the staircase. Why is it there? Why is the staircase there? Nobody knows! Oop, it's time for three more modern Twelve announcements. Hey, I'm Power Off Button. I'm the current host of Slime Twow Season 2 that's going on right now. Slime Twow is a video based Twow where Google Slides gets used to its fullest potential. If you want to hear your name said on YouTube, then come on down to Slime Twow. I'm Andy, host of Novel 12, where instead of responding to prompts each round, we collectively write a story, one line at a time, and end up with masterpieces like this, season 4 coming soon. Uh, hopefully. Done with those modern Twow announcements, back to the main Twow show. Next up is Midnight Light, who decided to change their title from Lunar Lady to Illuminated Idol. That's a brilliant persona to finish the season off with. Now kids, listen up. Keep your ears perked. Midnight Light's Twow 25 confessional is as follows. Hi guys, it's me, Midnight. I'm really thriving these days. Life is good. A lot has changed since Twow started, but at least I still like the color Midnight. As always, a friendly reminder that trans rights are human rights, and that neo pronouns are valid. Anyone who is non-binary or uses neo pronouns does indeed fall under the trans umbrella, and nothing will change that. Thanks for all the memes, everyone, and thanks to Carrie for hosting. I have a couple things to announce. Firstly, the supple Jumma Talk and I have decided to host a Twow. It will be very iconic, I'm sure, with some exciting twists around the corner, supported by its unique, never seen before format. Here's the link. That's right, you guys, it's the Power Twower Jumma Talk, who got five top 10 performances back in the early Twow era. Now, viewers, I know I've already shown you several ads for other Twow competitions, but this one is extra, extra important because it's the only one being hosted by a still living Twower. So pay extra attention as I show you Midnight Light and Jumma Talk's scrumptiously animated advertisement made by COCO. Doesn't that just sound so fun? So viewers, go join it! Anyway, back to Midnight Light's confessional. 
And more importantly, please donate to this essential fund if you can, or share it around so that others can see it. Spread the word and donate. Oh wow, I think that's actually a really good idea to support the Trans Housing Coalition Fund and an admirable use of your confessional space, Midnight Light. It's a great way for me to redirect the platform that 10 Words of Wisdom has to something more substantial and helpful in the real world, to the people who need it. So viewers, go donate if you're able to. And there we go. We've finished hearing all the Twow Season 1 confessionals there will ever be. But let's move on to the- Yoink, we can't actually move on yet because four more modern Twow ads are gonna grace your eyeballs. Have you ever wondered what would happen if Twow and a card game combined? Hi, I'm How and boy do I have a Twow CG for you. It's, it's called Twow CG, and it features. Hey, I'm LA Percent, the host of LA Twow. It's a vanilla Twow with a few added concepts that boast detailed hand-drawn aesthetics and a boatload of memes. Season 3 is nearing its end with these three homies fighting for first. I hope to see you come watch their battle and stay for what I have in store next. Peace. Wow, scatterplots, card games, and hand-drawn aesthetics? Those modern Twows all look amazing and a real thrill to join! But let's move on to the official 25th Twow prompt, which was, What are the 10 words of wisdom? I've actually had the idea for this to be the ultimate Twow prompt since about halfway through the season, because it's just so poetic, you know? But now it's finally happening! Actually, it's not happening quite yet. Sorry there were only 15 seconds in between ad breaks, but Twow enthusiasts just sent in so many delicious ads to see! Welcome to Botwow. Botwow is a standard vanilla Twow hosted by me, Bowtie, and it's in signups. Submissions are accepted until September 25th. Here's the prompt and the link to the server. I hope to see you there. Hi, I'm an Epic. You might know me. And I'm G Man. And this is GA Mini Twow. Our current season is nearly finished, and season 6 will be somewhat soon. I won't go too much into details, but the RPG theme that you won't belong yourself. Join now. Holy moly, those modern Twows look so fantastic. From Yoshi-themed, to Matrix-themed, to one hosted by an actual former Twower and Epic, it's also exciting. But back to my main Twow show. As a reminder, the final prompt was, what are the 10 words of wisdom? Each of the two Radiant finalists submitted three responses to that prompt. That means we have a total of six responses to judge. You viewers will be shown these six responses randomly and anonymously, so you won't know who they came from. You voters should rank those responses from best to worst. Now, the prompt is pretty darn vague and an extremely open-ended question. So you might think, how the heck am I supposed to rank these entries when I don't even know what the question's asking? Well, the question is asking whatever you want it to ask. If you're a practical utilitarian, you might choose to rank the entries that give the most mathematically correct answer the highest. But if instead you're a hopeless romantic, you might feel like ranking the entries that tug at your heartstrings the highest. And lastly, if you're the hilarious class clown, whichever entries leave you rolling on the floor laughing should be ranked the highest. So basically, just read all six responses, and whichever ones just feel like the most fitting answers to that question to you, under your own personal tastes, you should rank on top. But you know what you gotta do before casting your twow vote? Watch some more splendid ads for splendid modern twows, five this time.
We are in Nuke Greenland. Let's go. Oh, no. Someone broke our window. Never mind. Who the hell was that? Who the fuck was that? Oh, we're hosting it to now. Please. Please. Hey guys, I'm Noah, and here's a lovely 3-in-1 advertisement for some of the twas I'm hosting. It's me run time, my vapid twa is nearing its late game stage, my vanilla twa is just about started, and table twa, a 3-host twa, is still in signups. I host a lot and you can expect a lot of good things to come soon with my name attached. See ya! Those five modern twa ads were all such a pleasure to watch. I love me some March Madness, I love me some vulgar window owners, and I love me hosts multitasking three seasons at once. But time's running short, so we gotta get back to the main twa show. But now it's time for... Ads again. Okay guys, I need to be honest with you. You and I both realize this episode has way more ads than is ideal. That wasn't part of the plan. But I promised anyone who could create a 15 second ad for their twow in three days that they could get a spot in this video. And well, a promise is a promise. So. You may be experiencing ad fatigue, maybe even ad exhaustion, but this is the home stretch, the final six ads. So grit your teeth and let's power through this. By the way, I just want to make it clear, even though the sum of all ads is a lot, each ad individually was awesome to watch. Like Q, those motion graphics in that one were just so cool. Hello, I'm Swigoat, I'm the main host of GoToWow. Here, we promise you quality and speed. In short, giving you what you want without making you wait for it. Season 2 is almost over, so come join the server and be a part of Season 3. Hello, I'm Jazz, the host of Realitwow, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about it. Realitwow is a twow with fully colored prompt comics, and it's based off reality shows, meaning it has teams. It's not currently in signups, but if you'd like, you can join the server and still participate. We did it, we watched all 29 ads. That last bundle of Modern Twows was super innovative and diverse, video games and comics galore. But finally, we can return to the main show and tell you how you viewers should vote on my show's Twow25 responses. Remember, you viewers can vote whether you're a contestant or not by commenting on this video. So how do you vote? Pause the video at a random spot in the green rectangle. Type the keyword you see in the upper right, space. Rank the entries from best to worst using these letters. Surround it with square brackets. Done. You can comment other stuff too, and you can vote more than once. You guys can vote up until October 19th, 2021 at 10 p.m. UTC. Last time, 9,202 people voted on 1224's six entries. Do you think we can reach the milestone of 10,000 voters for this final 12 vote? That would be a spectacular way to both finish off the season and congratulate the winner after five years of battling. So if you've never voted on a 12 episode before, now's the time to do it. You might never get another chance. For real, this is the last episode. Also, to get us closer to that 10k goal, I, I guess you could be that cringy person that convinces their friends and family to vote on this episode too, maybe? Yeah, you just gotta power through the cringe for 12 because then it becomes twinge. Okay, that was also cringe. Anyway, after the votes are cast, each finalist's highest scoring response will be the one that counts as their TWAO25 score. That basically means that the single response that gets the highest absolute score this episode will grant its author victory, the number one trophy for the entire season, and the grand prize of wisdom. That response will also get to be the answer to that age-old question, what are the 10 words of wisdom, for all of posterity. No pressure. So without further ado, here are the 1225 responses.
Hey guys, it's voiceover carry here. So we have about 4 minutes of TWOW25 voting screens to get through, and then there's 4 minutes of me scrolling through fan art, uh, give or take. So in total that's about 8 minutes, and since no other audio is needed here, I might as well fill it up with just random chit chat that's like, I'm just coming up with off the top of my head. So, what should we talk about? I have no idea. Well, actually, I do have an idea, and I'm thinking about just telling you about what's going on with my academic life, and I know that's not super interesting or relevant to TWOW, but it's relevant to me, okay? So anyway, today, okay, right now it's about 5 a.m. on the morning of September 18th, 2021, when this video should go up. Later today, in just seven hours, I guess. Um, but it's also important for me living wise because I'm actually moving back to Stanford campus to continue my master's degree and it's actually kind of funny because I'm technically behind well okay let me just tell you the full story so I got my bachelor's degree in computer science I guess the specific track was artificial intelligence between September 2015 and December 2019 that's when I finally finished all my classes and then I got my diploma in the mail in 2020 during the pandemic and I really had no idea if I wanted to go into higher education. Like a lot of my peers just went straight into the industry, like tech companies, right after getting a bachelor's degree. And some of them stuck around for an extra year to get a master's. And you can get a master's and a bachelor's kind of all in one swoop in a five-year program called a co-term at Stanford. And I sort of thought to myself, I don't really know if I care enough about the field of computer science to devote like more of my life to it but a few years ago when I was at the gym a friend just bumped into me and he said if you ever want to get a master's degree at any point in your life doing it at Stanford now is probably the easiest opportunity you'll ever have to do it so just apply even if you aren't super gung-ho about it so I did that and then summer 2019 I had an internship with a startup and then the following fall I studied abroad in Kyoto, Japan. To me, that quarter was definitely the most enjoyable and memorable of my entire college experience. So if any of you younger people watching this now haven't studied abroad yet and are you know, about to head to college or something around that age range, I would really encourage you to study abroad because you really can't get an experience like that at any other point in your life. You know, when you're a kid, you're too young and you don't know how to like live on your own in a different country. But when you're past college age, Everything is more about your career and your job and you know how you can make money. So in college, it's like this like sweet spot, like a transient moment in time when you can like set aside your worries and focus on the culture and environment of a different country. And also all of this is really negated right now because there's the COVID pandemic. So almost nobody can study abroad anyway. And that's a privilege that maybe people of this time period aren't gonna have for the next two years i don't know how long i can't predict the future okay well that's not the main point let's not get sidetracked so i had these two big life events kind of lined up in 2019 and then when january 2020 rolled around i just realized you know technically i should go into my masters but i have no idea what i'm gonna do so i took a bunch of like goof off silly classes in the winter and some of them were like learn how to do cpr which is obviously important but it's not related to my major and also took like italian cooking and the japanese third quarter then the pandemic happened and then I decided not to take any classes when it was virtual because I figured uh, the, the main benefits of being at Stanford, I guess, are to be on campus and around other cool people. So if I can't do that, and I'm just, you know, doing homework virtually online. I'm going to clock out. We finished with the voting images and now we're moving on to the TWOW 25A fan art. You can submit your own fan art by going to reddit.com slash r slash TWOW fan art. I'm saying that word a lot. I'm going to clock out. I'm going to take a leave of absence and when the pandemic finishes, if it ever does, that's when I'll return. But you know, it still hasn't finished and it might never finish because, you know, COVID-19 might just become endemic. What ended up happening is that by spring of 2021, my college told me, you can't take a leave of absence for more than a year, which, you know, that makes sense because at that point they'd start to wonder if you'll ever come back. So I took three classes virtually that were computer science related. You know, I was having trouble just getting up and waking up in time for the classes to start. So anyway, I, I did get good grades and I felt like surprised by that. But those three classes were the only ones I've ever taken that go towards the, the degree. So I'm technically still only 20% the way to getting my master's degree. 
Ooh, check out this fan art. U slash ITOT drew all 491 Twowers in one image falling off that pillar. And it's just the biggest, most detailed mosaic of Twowers I've ever seen. So huge shout out to them for this amazing artwork. I'm technically still only 20% the way to getting my master's degree. And that kind of spooks me out because students who are two whole years younger than me, high school class of 2017, college class of 2021, some of them have already graduated with their masters as well, so you know I'm behind people who are two years younger. Sometimes I feel bad about that, but sometimes I remind myself that like I did take so many school years easier than my classmates. Like sometimes I would sign up for three classes and they would sign up for five, and I always justified it by saying, you know, I don't want to have 12 hours a day devoted to academics. I want to have some wiggle room so that I can work on these YouTube videos on the side. And I also just was a lot less able to convince myself to keep working at homework. You know, I had this personality where I didn't want a teacher to tell me what to do. And, you know, if I started feeling like this homework was boring or useless, I just really, really didn't want to do it. And it sounds like a bratty little kid, but I think that's part of the reason why I couldn't take you know, more than one or two STEM related classes a quarter because I just couldn't handle a, a larger workload. So I was pretty much going at 60% the speed of the fastest classmates. And so, you know, it's not really a race. And I figure if I'm still in college into my late 20s, whatever, it's like I'm going to be in my late 20s anyway. Why not be on a college campus? It's not the end of the world. And you know, every time I had gone to some lecture hall and I saw someone in their 50s or 60s as a student, I would always say, go you, because you know they're sort of like breaking against the social norm. But why should it be that once you reach a certain age, you're not really allowed to learn anymore? That's the dumb rule. So if that becomes me for whatever reason, I shouldn't feel bad. Quick interruption, I just wanted to say thanks to you slash Tara Funkin and you slash Kyren Returns for supplying about 90% of the content on this Twow fan art subreddit. You guys are just so creative and I love the series of Twowers booksonas if they are still in the game. That's a great idea, so keep it up and other people watching this, you should try to add stuff to the subreddit too so that they aren't the only two people there so they have some competition, you know? Like, it's so weird now. Every future year that comes up in my life, there won't be a set plan. There's like freshman, sophomore, junior, senior years of high school and undergrad and they're so clear cut for people so they know like, oh, I know where I'll be in three years if I'm a freshman, I'll be a senior. But now I'm sort of like out in the great expanse of the unknown where every year I just take it one step at a time and I don't know where I'll be. Oh shoot, it looks like the end of the fan art stream is approaching. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Do not forget to tune into Twow 25B, the final episode in the entire season and series, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.